You learned kitchens. Got it. Are you Lentil serious? mash. Um, something to eat. Got it. Got it. Jesus Christ. Lentil mash. Got that. Got a bread roll. Take that. Take that. Roast duck. Some wine. Definitely need that. Yep, just take all of it. And since we did not eat the cheese that our parents had, even though now I feel bad that we didn't, because now it's just going to waste and going to a Hungarian. I'm not saying that is. I'm saying that is Henry, not me. I don't have any problems with Hungarians, but obviously, I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm, I'm fairly certain that Henry has a problem with Hungarians now. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm oh, all right God, with saying he does. Hearts. Yes, yes, Henry. Jesus. Let's eat, eat, eat. So he's healing a bit. We'll have one thing of cheese as well. My god, Henry. How much can you stuff away? Okay, and some roast duck. Okay, wait until you've digested your food. Okay, won't get hungry for much longer now, but you'll be heavy-handed and clumsy until you do just everything. Got it. But, we are going to go to sleep in the Courtyard Lodge, which I think is over here. Yes. So let's uh, sit on it to launch sleep. Okay. <sighs> and let's sleep. I guess we'll go until morning and start. Okay, things are loading. And what do we have? Today the patrols will be doubled. Keep your eyes peeled. If you see anything out of the ordinary, report it immediately. Understood? Yes, sir. You have your boots on, Henry. Yes? It is I, Henry. Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy, did I? Uh, my lady... Uh, um... No, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you... could do with a little wine. It's just what you need to help you sleep. My lady... Um, thank you. Huh. You no, she really shouldn't have. I was going to. But to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace. To let you know you're not alone. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. <sighs> now... Henry, I know this is all very new and strange for you. But I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. I, I mean, I was walking around pretty fine. Through a terrible ordeal. Yeah, it's pretty terrible. Don't need people reminding me about it. I know it is to be left alone in the world. 
although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it, if you feel like it. I am noticing the lip syncing is a problem in this game. To an extent. I just can't talk about it. Tell the story of the raid. You know, it is always best to get the stuff off your chest, so we're going to do that. You might be right, my lady. I'll tell you what happened. It was terrible and unexpected. The day started just like any other. Father sent me into town on some errands. I went to the tavern for ale to meet my sweetheart. Uh, I went to collect debt. A fellow by the name of Kunish owed money to father, who sent me to collect to the it debt. Only Kunish had no intention of paying. It got a bit heated, as often happens when there's money involved. But Kunish still wouldn't cough up the coin. Father was too generous for his own good, letting even a scoundrel like that buy on credit. Oh. When I'd done all the errands, I headed back home. I promised father I'd help him with his work, and I was looking forward to it. He was forging a sword for Sir Radzik. Uh... Take a look at the sword. I'd been secretly, been secretly. Learning sword fighting and hiding it from my parents. So when we assembled the sword, I tried a few moves with it. There's a big difference between a wooden sword and a real one. Maybe if I hadn't taken that sword in my hand, I wouldn't be here today. You're full of surprises. But Sigismund's horde was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. I saw smoke. There was a huge horde of attackers. A horde huge of horde of attackers. Amassed. Pennants flapped in the wind. The armor glinted in the sunlight, and the horses whinnied impatiently. They were waiting for Sigismund to give the command to attack. How awful! And then death descended on Scalitz. Hmm. Father told me yeah. to take shelter in the castle while he went to get mother. She was stranded in the town, surrounded by Sigismund's butchers. And then I saw him knocking down one human after another. I never saw him fight like that. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, a knight in full armor, saw father and charged at him. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, a knight in full armor, saw father and charged at him. He cut down yep, my father we... without a thought. There we go. And then he turned on my mother. And he murdered her in cold blood. You poor boy. May the Lord have mercy on their souls. I ran to the castle like our neighbours to take cover, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn you. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. Humans were plundering the village. I needed a horse. I needed a horse to get to the safety of Talmberg and to warn you all. And with all that was happening, you thought of others like a good Christian. Then I heard a scream. It was Teresa, the mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of cumin savages who planned to violate her. I wanted to help, uh, but I couldn't. I couldn't. I didn't know I could, so, but I couldn't. I wanted to help her. God knows I wanted to, but... Even though I had the sword we made for Sir Radzik, they had me outnumbered and they were well armed, too. I only just managed to grab one of their horses and ride off. I couldn't help her any more than I could have helped my parents. It wasn't your fault. I'll never forget. I wonder if you can beat them. It will haunt me for the rest of my life. That's terrible. How could something like that happen? There's war. God alone knows why he lets such things happen. Oh, you poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy, and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Fate has not been merciful to me and my husband either. Oh, 
also in comparison to the horrors you went through. Why are you talking to me? I was young. I cannot get my head around it. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. Shortly after our marriage, before I even got a look at Talmberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Pribislavitz, and killed many of our men, even the old Chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. Yep, I was sounds pretty bad. I was 18 years old, and all of a sudden, I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from Divish's friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, you say? Seven years. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom. And only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Seven years. And was Harvel punished for it? Never. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. Sir Divish seems like a good, strong man. Well, certainly. Only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. Yeah, at I don't think you we understand. In Parents died in front there of me. Was something stabbed. Mother now, stabbed multiple times. We're here. My lady, you're still young and beautiful. Your best years are still ahead of you. Would that that were true, lad. Would it were true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. I'll go and let you sleep. Good idea. I enjoyed our little talk, Henry. Good night, and God bless. Good night, my lady. Take those boots off, Henry. Jesus Christ. You learned woman in the Middle Ages. All right. Why are his dreams in a red filter? Still got those boots on, god damn it. That was actually far less awful than it was, or actually. Henry, wake up. You don't oh, I'm not a coward. What is the, what's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Skelets. It's been a day. He had an arrow in his thigh up to, like, I, I, it was fairly deep in there. Go to the battlements, take the torch from the table. Torch, got it. Need to light the torch at night, use your torch by holding one? Nope. 
I. Uh, hold on. Torch, torch, torch. Equip. Okay, I don't think there's anything to light, so exit. Yep. Yep, there it is. I can just see it in the side. Uh, uh, uh. Can I not get one good night's sleep? Uh, battlements, battlements. Just gotta get up here. I think it's over here. Hope it is. Don't like, you're not supposed to if you enter these houses. We're in a private area, got it. So where am I supposed to go? Not a clue. Well, let's try go down here. I will find my way around eventually. Oh, there it is. Not that I'm spoiling for a fight, but if you have to choose a place for one, then right behind the solid walls it is. Go to the mouth to talk to Captain Robert. Rebard. Best thing would be to join forces with skeletons and wipe Sigwin's bastards. So quick, so we wouldn't have time to join forces. What you? What? Where the hell are you from? Where the hell are you from? Jesus. Is down here. Tell the people outside the walls to prepare for attack. Quickly, you understand? Got it. The bard. What's going on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmud in the night? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the raid on Scouts. Maybe it's not him. Then who is it? The Scouts give his sent to Scarlet, the spy on Sigismund. Said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And so Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. What else did the spy see? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. Then okay. Right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers, including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that costs a fortune. Well, anyway, we'll find out when they get here, won't we? Aye, we will. Who is this? Oh! Who goes there? Lucifer and all his minions! Who else, Robert? Sir Ratzig. What a relief. Is his lordship there with you? Yes, sir. He is right here. What are you doing up so late, Divish? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> well, Ratzig, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this Tempest is a godsend for me and my men. As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slick throat. I'd say your grandfather was a wise man. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you? He's here with me. He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. Thank God. A brave young man. But tell me, friend. How on earth did you manage to get away? Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left a storm into the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. The Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. What will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund huh. should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? I'm here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. 
I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Skalitz. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? But sir! Quiet! I'm sorry about your father, but getting killed as well won't help him. Divish, make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Havel of Baldic. I've seen you've grown oh, that a laugh. skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend. And good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I will. And good luck to you and your people, too. These are dark times. Move out! Okay. So, that's good. Scalitz is now no longer under siege because there's nobody there to siege. Men, tonight we'll have triple patrol. Sort out the watches between you as always. And if I catch anyone boozing, playing dice or slacking off, I'll personally break every bone in his body. I want you to keep a close eye on everything nearby. Sigismund will surely have sent spies. And likely men as well to follow the Scalitz people now he knows they've fled. Keep your eyes peeled and report everything to me at once. Understood? Yeah. Uh, hey. Henry, I need to have a word with you. Right oh. Sir Rubard. Rhubarb, I don't know. Can I be of need? help? I could use an extra pair of eyes, and yours are keen. Will you keep watch on the battlements with my men? Is that a request or an order? I'd rather it was a request you answered yes to. Of course I'll help. I'll have to pay you back somehow after all you've done for me. Splendid. And don't worry. I'll tell the men to relieve you later. All right. Keep watch on the battlements. Got it. Gonna check my map here. Unexplored place, got it. So let's just check the map. That's Scalitz, that's uh, Rovna, and that's Tanberg. So this is actually a fairly large map. Ooh, I like that. So I'm guessing just gonna have to watch the battlements. So now I'm a scout, and the visibility is shit. Still got the sword. Is that a person down there? Now oh, there's a couple of people, it looks like. Well, Scalitz is over here, so why don't we... Huh? What happened? Wandering around like a stray sheep. Must be your first watch, eh? I don't think anything much will be happening today. You can just lean against the wall and wait till morning. I'll show you what's what. I will. Thank you. If you have to wait for something, you can skip time, press T, and set how long you have to wait. Watch out, though. Tiredness and hunger will grow even during skip time. Got it. Wait till morning. Alright, morning is... right there. Okay. Alright, and start with E. <laughs> Just sitting... Next to this wall, just waiting. Couple hours. Uh, 
There we go. Ha. <sighs> Yep. Yeah. Mm, it's a nice town. Now I can finally see it. A lot bigger than Scallets. Huh. Yep. Fellow guard. I guess not fellow guard, just other guard. We still have our objective, don't we? Uh, that. Quest log. Run. Main quest. Side quest. Activities, unexpected visit. Nope, do we have we don't have our objectives, do we? Okay. <sighs> it's gotta be morning. The sun's almost out. Yeah, we got some guys roving around in the town doing their patrols. Very limited visibility on the lower half there. What is that? What's going on? Go to the mammoths to the outer. Go to the battlements of the outer bailey. Is this it? Private area, that's not it. Uh, uh, I don't know I don't know the castle. I don't know the castle. Um over here. Okay, getting tired. Getting tired. Catch my breath. I did down like a, a whole wheel of cheese yesterday, so I understand being a little bit um Got it, got it. Elements of the Outer Bailey. <coughs> ooh, ooh, pardon me, guys. Sorry about that. Oh, here. Here we go. There they are. Indeed, Robard. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. We may be in for a surprise. I don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. Greetings, Lord of Tomberg. <laughs> That's the bastard who let the attack of Scullis and killed my parents. An idiot. Do you want to end up like them? I am Sir Mark Bart von Aulitz. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia, who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt Concord in the land and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. Restore order by burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Markvard. The efforts of the king's brother to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king, and here in Taunberg, divine peace reigned until your arrival. To what, then, do we owe the honor of your visit? It's a very Yesterday, large army. His Majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom, Sir Ratzik Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Scarlet's mine to fund insurrection against the crown. Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, where he might be at this time? As far as I know, the Sir Radzik of which you speak is the king's hetman at Scarlet's. 
I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not a Talberg. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle, where he has little chance of defense, to another, where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? Am I to Pass. inform the king then that Zeratsi Kobila is not a Tarnberg and that he has your loyalty? Sir Radzig Kobila is not here, and I have no intentions of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Very well. Good answers. Sir. As you wish. I will relay your words to the king in the hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Those who have clean consciences and good will may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this, when there is little cause for joy. Farewell, sir. Auf Wiedersehen. Okay, so he's German. Well, though I could tell by the accent, though I don't know why the accent would matter. I've heard quite a few that shouldn't be around here. And they leave. My lord, you have my ha wait. How do they know? Get on with you, Robard. gonna have to kill him at some point hey watch it Focus. you you're running into me bury a loved one in scallets talk to sir robard and uh, something okay well let's unequip this because we don't need it anymore uh, and our current quest log is Side quests, nope. All. So, bury your loved ones in Scalettes, talk to Sir Rubard, and get a horse. Yeah, it would suck just to walk all the way back to Scalettes. But, uh, because it's, yeah, it's that one there. Okay, well, let's go ahead and uh, talk to Sir Robard. Yeah, you all right? Okay. Got to got to just get past you, sir. There we go. And talk to him here. Ha. I'll be with you. Oh, yeah, you too. Uh why did uh, Sigmund raid Scallets? What is Sigmund after? What do you know about the Cumans? Where did these Cumans come from, anyway? I don't know much about them, only what the Chamberlain said. That they came to Hungary from the east and settled there. They're godless barbarians and merciless fighters. The nobles used to say the Hungarian king shouldn't enlist them, because they dishonor our rules of warfare. But when there's power and money to be had, it seems that honor isn't worth my spit. And believe me, it's always about power and money. Mm-hmm. Okay. What is Sigmund what after? Gutenberg? Gutenberg. Well, I'm just a simple soldier, but the good lord gave me ears, and I've heard some things from Sir Divish and from those who fled from Sigismund's pillaging. Were there many? Indeed. But it was the Gutenberg mercenaries who came to see me, because I knew them from before. I see. Listen, lad. These are all games of the high aristocracy. In Prague, a cabal of nobles rebelled against King Wenceslas, wealthy aristocrats who took against our king for reasons of their own. 
There's Those no bastards. doubt Sigismund had his fingers in the whole affair. Him and Wenceslas's cousin, Jobst. And that cabal helped him abduct the king. So then why did Sigismund attack Kuttenberg? Why do you think? Uh, as a strategic position and strong fortification, he was afraid of Kuttenberg insurgent lords to feed his troops from their granaries for the loot. I suppose because it has a strategic position and good fortifications, so it can be used as a base for raids, giving you control of the whole territory and good defences too, if, if you need them. <laughs> Not at all. King Charles, may God grant him eternal glory, built Prague into a proper royal city, while King Wenceslas took a liking to Kutenberg. After Prague, it's the most important city in Bohemia, in the entire Holy Roman Empire. He who commands mm -hmm. the Kutenberg silver is king. So Kutenberg silver with Wenceslas because he favored it. Now you're starting to understand. When Sigismund imprisoned Wenceslas and took control of Prague, the people of Kutenberg began to raise an army against him. So with the attack on Kutenberg, Sigismund killed two birds with one stone. He defeated Wenceslas's most powerful allies before they could stand against him and also gained immense wealth. Ah. Why did Sigismund burn down Scalitz and then come here too? That's war for you, lad. Certain lords have resolved to take things into their own hands and eliminate anyone who doesn't share their view. Unfortunately, Sir Radzig is one of those. And what's more, he was sitting on a pile of silver that could help King Wenceslas' allies. I have to get to Scalitz. Sir Robard, I need to get to Scalitz. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, deserters, and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here. I have to bury my parents to let me out before I lose my temper. If you're in my shoes, you do the same. Let's try that. Sir Robard, my parents died there. I can't leave them to be eaten by dogs. What would you do in my place? Sorry, lad, but I won't take orders. You'll have to wait until everything settles down and maybe your lord will change his mind. Alright, end dialogue then. Okay, just keep going. So we talked to him, didn't work out. Let's uh, just get around him for a second. So that's the combat arena? Hmm. So we came down here. I'm just trying to find my way around. Alright. So if we keep going down here, will we get back? No. Yes? Is this way down? No. It's the other, it's the other path. I'm trying to get back into the courtyard. There we go. Sake. Okay, trader. Looks like a granary there. Granary. Here we go. There's a little drawbridge, and we're back into the castle with our bed, where we can save because, uh, well, uh, according to my recording, we've been playing for about. Two hours and fifteen minutes, and uh, yeah, like I said, I picked this up literally about a half hour after the game came out, and uh, yeah, that's that's a good run for the first uh, stretch. I also need to make sure everything's being recorded correctly, because uh, <laughs> it would really suck if uh, if there was a problem here. Um, so yeah, I think that's going to be the end of it for this recording session. So I'm just going to do a general intro at the end of these sessions. Uh, if you like this, uh, consider leaving a comment on any of the videos. Uh, also consider uh, hitting that like button, all that helps. Uh, as well as taking a look at the description down below where I have links to my uh, Discord and my Patreon. Uh, oh, also, if you really like the series and want to keep uh, up to date on all my uploads, uh, consider that subscribe button. But yeah, uh, I will see all of you guys in the next episode. Bye!